Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Maria of My Home Cooking and Adventures and today recipe is a hopiang baboy. This hopiang baboy is a very famous snack in the Philippines. We have many varieties of this recipe. There's our mungo or mung bean, ube or purple yam and today is hopiang baboy. We call it hopiang baboy because way back then instead of the shortening we use the fats from the pork or the pig as the oil for this cooking nowadays you can use any oil shortening butter or vegetable oil in this recipe okay let's proceed for the ingredients i am going to use one whole onion and i'm going to chop chop it then I use two tablespoons of butter and half cup of oil and I put it in the pan. Then I'm going to add the onion and saute it until it's golden brown. Make sure that you're using low to medium heat in this cooking because you don't want to burn your onion quick. The onion is golden brown. Let's add one half cup of sugar. Don't get confused when you see the divided sugar here because I use one fourth and one fourth cup of sugar. Okay, let's add one half can of the condensed milk. Make sure that continuously mixing it to avoid the sticking in the pan. Okay, let's add one fourth cup of evaporated milk and one half teaspoon of salt. Let's add two and one fourth cup of flour. Halu halu in lang, mix mix to avoid sticking in the pan and continuously mixing it for a few minutes until you know that it is really cooked and it's sticking together or it's become like a dough type. And then we're going to put it aside to proceed for the next ingredient. Okay, after a few minutes of mixing, the filling is almost done. We're going to put it aside and let's proceed for the next ingredients. We actually have two dough here, first dough and second dough. We're going to make the first dough first. In the bowl, let's add two cups of flour, and then one fourth cup of sugar, and one half teaspoon of salt. Let's combine all these dried ingredients before we add the one half cup of oil, and one half cup of water. Masahin lang pong mabuti. Just keep kneading it until all this combined and there's no or small particles left. And then we're going to wrap it in the saran plastic or plastic cover. And we're going to let it sit for at least 20 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes whenever until you're done for the second dough. Just continue kneading it until it becomes smooth. 
or masahin lang mabuti parang walang matirang buo-buo sa loob. We are going to wrap it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Twenty minutes is done. We are going to flatten the dough using the kneading pad and the rolling pin to reach the desired thickness. Just remember this is the first dough and then we're going to layer it with the second dough. The procedure for the second dough is the next clip of the video. For the second dough, in a bowl, let's add 1 and 1 half cup of flour and 1 half cup shortening and 1 fourth cup of butter. We are going to make the same procedures as the first dough, just combining all the ingredients. As you can see here, the dough is become sticky in the hand because of the shortening in the butter. Don't worry about it, just combining all these ingredients and we're going to proceed for the next calling for the recipe. Using saran plastic cover to flatten the dough is easier to prevent sticking to the roller or to your hand. There are so many ways of procedures for this dough, but this is the easiest for me. So just keep watching. Just remember this is the second dough. Okay, this is flat now. We're going to set this aside and let's continue for the first dough. Okay, here is the first dough that I made earlier, layered with the second dough. Roll up the dough together as you can see in this video. Okay, then we're going to wrap it with the plastic cover to prevent drying. Using cutter, split the dough into a size that you desire. Mine, I made 24 to 28 pieces of the Hopia bread. For the final calling of our bread is the filling. We are going to divide it or cut it 
based on the amount of the dough that we cut earlier. Once we're done cutting it, we're going to shape it into a ball to make it easier to put it in the dough later on. Let's go back to the dough. Flatten it using your roller pin and enough size just to cover the filling. Put the filling into the wrap or dough and then seal it. Once it's sealed, wrap it using your palm, flatten it, press it, and then fold it into half to shape into a hopia bread. Turn on the oven for 375 degree Fahrenheit. Using the egg yolk only, brush the top of the hopia bread for addition to the color. We are almost done. Bake for 20 minutes for 375 degrees. Just a reminder, if you're making it smaller size, 
you probably make or cook it for about 15 minutes only so it depending on the size of the bread and here you go as i promised my hopyang baboy it's look delicious isn't it it is perfectly whatever you buy or you see or you taste in the store or in a bakery it's it's i swear it is the same taste and same texture and mm, you really you will love it you will love it